Hello fellow subscribers, it is me, Ethan here, and today I'm going to be doing a Flash game, and you might be wondering to yourself, oh, well, what kind of Flash game is this, Ethan? Well, I'm going to be playing Ingrown Toenail Remover Surgery. Um, it's a Flash game, um, it's, um, quite a popular game, I guess, but anyway, um, I have to, um, I got it loaded, but, um, click and drag the iodine to sterilize. All right. Now we need oh, to what? numb the toe no, with no, a no. local anesthetic. No, 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 no. We'll have to inject no, the anesthetic. No, 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 no. I'm reloading the tab for you guys so you guys can see it. But anyway, um, yeah. So we see it's all loaded up. Surgery may contain graphic procedures inappropriate for adults or screamish <laughs> for children or screamish adults. All right. Surgery squad. Hello, and welcome to Surgery Squad's Virtual Ingrown Toenail Removal. So, I'm Dr. Jeff, and I'll Dr. be guiding Jeff. you through this procedure today. An ingrown toenail uh, happens when the edge of the toenail grows down and into the flesh of the toe. When this occurs, there is usually a moderate amount of pain, redness, and swelling once. around the toenail. And hers, and her nail An ingrown back toenail is usually caused to. when extra pressure is applied to the toe uh. due to shoes that are too tight or too loose. Improperly trimmed toenails, foot or toe deformities, injuries, and fungal issues can also be contributing factors. There are some ways to treat an ingrown toenail at home to relieve some of the pain. But remember that you should never attempt to remove an ingrown yes, toenail yourself. Exactly. If you're a diabetic and have an ingrown toenail, it is recommended... Hold on one second, guys. Sorry about that, guys. My mom called me. Right, so and just... that you go to the doctor immediately. Now that you understand the causes of an ingrown toenail, let's put on our gloves and remove one. All right, we got to our patient is ready. So let's begin by disinfecting the toe. Oh, disinfect! Quick and drag. Oh, this is like the sponge tool on like Photoshop. Wait, can I paint his whole foot? Yes. Yes. I must. Just, I have to make his whole foot orange. He's, su he's suffering from lack of iron, guys. He's having a bad day. Sorry if it's a little laggy. It's not the best computer. Even though it's pretty much brand new but hold on I'll be right back again again you guys I'm really sorry about that now we need to numb the toe with a local anesthetic we'll have to inject the anesthetic in several locations around the toe click what Ooh. Oh, there's blood and everything. E. Oh. Great. Now we'll wait a few minutes for the toe to get numb. That's, that must be like no pain. <laughs> Five minutes late day. <laughs> now that our patient's toe is numb, place the special tourniquet around the toe. This will help reduce the amount of blood coming from the wound. Once you've done that, we can move. That's what they did with my First, mom. First, carefully slide one blade oh, of the God. nail anvil under the affected nail. What? We're going to go down the nail until we feel a little bit oh. of resistance. Our patient's going to feel some pressure as we cut away the ingrown nail. Cut! Oh! That sound. Oh my god! Great. Take That's the forceps so and carefully remove the ingrown nail. I have to. Oh god! You guys remind me never to get an ingrown toenail surgery, please. Oh, the strings and everything. Ugh. It's, kind it's of getting gross. kind of messy in there. Let's clean up that blood. <laughs> kind of messy. Oh my god. See that small bit of pale yellow substance right there? Is that pus? It looks like the patient has a bit of infection in the toe. Oh, Firmly squeeze the edge of the toe to get as much of that infection out as you can. 
Oh, that's nice. He must feel a lot better now. Our patient, anyway. That toe is starting to look much better, but yeah. we're not done yet. Next, we're going to apply some phenyl acid to the wound. This will help ensure that the problem of ingrowth will not reoccur. In the when you're done inserting the acid, I'll remove the tourniquet and we'll finish up. That's what they did to my mom. They Finish put, like, by the applying some so antibiotic ointment on a sterile gauze pad. <laughs> Place it against the toe it's like a and thing. wrap it in a gauze bandage. Oh, is that it? Fantastic job. Since there was some oh, obvious pills. infection, our patient will be sent home with a Those prescription like for some antibiotics. Now. We'll also need to tell our patient to keep the wound know, dry, do, clean the wound regularly, and replace the bandage two to three times a day. While our patient's toenail isn't likely to regrow, his condition is likely to return if he doesn't take care of his feet. This includes wearing proper fitting shoes, properly trimming his toenails, and keeping his feet clean and dry. And that's how we remove an ingrown toenail. You did a great job today. While you're here, try your hand at one of our other surgeries here at SurgerySquad.com. Virtual dental filling or virtual lumpectomy surgery? What, what am I at right now? Six minutes. All right, so I'm going to stop it right here, you guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to me if you haven't already. And if, as always, I will see you guys later. And don't forget to keep on sizzling. I might. And I might do one of these if you like it. Just put them down in the comments if you want to see more of this. So I will see you guys later. And don't forget to keep on sizzling.